Hello, this is Software Informant, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Modern Warfare 3 LAN dedicated server for Tungle. There is a lot that I want to cover in a short amount of time. I don't want to make this video too long, but let's get to it. You're going to want to get the reloaded version on the internet for this uh, tutorial. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Gonna want to download that, install it. I use Damien's tools to do that. And uh, for any of you unfamiliar with how to use mounting software, with this Damien's tool, you just right click and go to Virtual Devices and Mount Image and you go ahead and install it and then when it asks for CD2 you want to unmount that image and uh, mount the second ISO up and continue until it installs all the way that's how you do that once you have your Modern Warfare 3 game folder as we got right here I'm going to put this in uh, my program files you can uh, go ahead and put yours in your program files as well I'm not quite certain if it makes a difference or not, but just for a good measure, you might want to do that. So this is what our base looks like, all 13.3 gigabytes of it, 13.7. What we want to go ahead and do now is uh, to start setting up our dedicated server which acts as both uh, the game uh, single player, multiplayer, and dedicated server. You can use this game folder for all three. Is uh, we want to mount your second ISO if you unmounted that, and we want to go to where our disk drives are, and it should be located here. You can go ahead and click that, and there should be a crack folder in your second ISO that you got off of the reloaded torrent. Go ahead and click that and copy and replace all these files just as so and go ahead and copy and place these as well And you can drag player two into our game folder and put these main files in there as well. We're just going to copy and replace over those anyway, but just to be thorough, I guess. All right, so we're going to be done with uh, that torrent there. We can go ahead and uh, just get that out of the way. Go ahead and unmount that. We're not using that anymore. Next, we need to uh, download some files here. I'll put the links in the description. But we, we need the, the full patch 1.4 and we need the... Um, you could use this uh, 1.4 with server.rar as well. And the Techno Modern Warfare 3 2.2.rar. This is kind of just like Jimmy rigging something. It's seems to work sometimes and it doesn't work other times but once you get it working it stays working forever it's just getting the right files into the right places it seems for some reason but it also seems like there's different ways of getting it to work right and our end result we're looking for is is uh... once we click on the dedicated server button technogods launcher is supposed to launch the console to where we start our server but a lot of times it will error until you get your files set right and that can be a huge pain and that's what we're doing right now anyway with that said we want to go ahead and I made a little thing here you can go by I'll put this in the description as well and we got our crack files and reloaded torrent put down now we want to go to the update 1.4 and uh, that's the full patch right here 
and we want to start with uh, putting these folders files to where they're supposed to go and we can go ahead and just uh, do the same as we did with uh, the cracked folder copy replace just as such and same with player 2 and with main alright we've done that now now we can go ahead and uh, check out some of this other stuff that I've got written down um, let's see, what do I want to do next? Um, got our player two. Oh, we need admin. So we want to go ahead and open up server here. And you need this admin folder. And that's going to be a big part of our dedicated server. So now we got our admin in there. Now we can go ahead and go to our full patch again. <clears throat> you just want to take all these files right here after we've done all this in this order and just drag those suckers right into our core files. Just like that. Alright. Now, this can get really frustrating if this doesn't work right the first time because you can spend quite a few hours messing with these files until you get the launcher to actually launch the console the way it's supposed to be. Anyway, uh, so you want to make these administrator privileged these exe files as well as this techno thing, this techno launcher. Techno Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. Now, uh, you can go ahead and try uh, checking this out, see if this is going to work for you or not. First time you start it up, it seems like it takes forever. That's nah, not so bad this time. It'll just ask you for your nickname and uh, your field of view. Go ahead and type whatever you want there. And you want to first go ahead and check out this start land game. Now, if that's not working, your dedicated server is definitely not going to be working. So, you go to even play to just play. You can go to the start land game here, and then you. Uh, turn on your server browser in the server options menu there and then you go into the LAN server browser and you should be able to see the servers that people are running over Tungle the dedicated servers but uh, we'll just go ahead and click start dedicated server and see what happens here yeah it's not working and it's going to bring up an error just like that and as much as I'd like to just show you it working, um, I've literally been messing with these files for like, I don't know, six hours now. And it just seems like once I figure out exactly what you're supposed to do with the right files, it stops working. I don't know why. But uh, what you want to do then is go back to our, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but... Um, Go ahead and go to this Techno Modern Warfare 3 folder here. And this is where it kind of gets long. You might want to skip part of this and try some of your own stuff, maybe. Uh, I don't really know what to tell you, but um, we can go ahead and try these Techno launchers here. I don't know if that'll do anything or not. You can also put your IP in. I'm beginning to think that 
it builds CAC or something or something, it builds something in this folder when you start it, and then after a few minutes it starts working for some reason when it wasn't before. But uh, that's what I've noticed anyway. We can go ahead and uh, uh, let's see. We got our players too, we got our zone, right? So basically what we're looking at here is our core files, because all of these files we've got here are pretty much set in stone. So we want to switch these out and mi mix mix up these, these core files here. So um, go ahead and uh, take your full patch again. Just drag those in there. Make sure all your EXEs are run as administrator. Seems like these all are. So it should be working. I don't know why it's not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, we're not getting anything right now. You can go ahead and try this with server one. Copy and replace all of these. And give that a whirl. see there it goes and I just I have no idea why it does that but that's just something you're gonna have to go through and I know it's really unprofessional and I wish I had a better answer to why that happens but I don't and uh, I hope you can take and learn something from what I just showed you because that's where um, I mean that's just one of the issues that I had when I was trying to get the server to even start. I couldn't get the council to work for the LAN. And, uh, I mean, you can just click on the server file from uh, your game folder without the Technogod launcher here, but it's not going to make a LAN server for you, for Tungle, for people to play on. Uh, you need to have this collate with uh, Technogod's launcher like we got right here. Otherwise, it's not going to work at all. Now that we got that out of the way, we can start on setting up our server files that uh, actually tell the server what to do. And before we get into that, I just wanted to mention that uh, also uh, when I click start LAN game before, um, it, uh, it didn't start. It was bringing the air again, too. Um, so what I did was I just switched out uh, my multiplayer file um, let's see the iw5mp.exe um, with uh, one of the other files. I had uh, to begin with the server when we took all the files of the server and we just put them in the, the in the game folder there um, the most multi this multiplayer wasn't working the land so what I did is I just took uh, the full patch one here and I just took that exe from this 
and switched it up and then it worked. It's really weird. And then when I switched it back to what it was before, it worked again. So it didn't stop working. So that's how kind of this works. It's weird like that. But anyway, everything's working now. And uh, sorry if you had any troubles with either of those two things. But, uh, I mean, until someone figures out uh, more uh, direct approach to it, it's uh, just kind of Jimmy rigging it till it works. Anyway, we've got that all working. Our dedicated server pops up like it's supposed to. The council. And that's what we needed to start our server. So, let's uh, quit uh, chatting around here and get our files done and get this server running. So, what we want to do is go to our game folder and uh, go to admin and copy this default DSPL file. This is our map rotation file and paste it onto the desktop here. So, compared to what we had to go through before, this is pretty much a cakewalk. Um, it shows you right here that this is the format of what you got to type in, and that's what we use. And these are the maps that you use. You put this into this area, and you put the game mode right you see right here, and you put that into the this right here, and the weight is just, you can just leave those at one. And uh, so what you can do is just uh, just to make a quick map rotation, you can go ahead and copy this like this and uh, delete that, paste that, and get rid of these slashes in front of these things here. Now you don't have to do them all. But just for uh, thoroughness, I'll show you what I did. Oop. All right, stop doing that. Get rid of these, all these slashes here, like that. All right. Now these are the maps that are going to be in our rotation. We delete a few of them. You need to put a a comma after all of them. And then uh, you can uh, choose which mode you want each map to uh, play on. Uh, I suggest not using all of them because no server uses all modes. That's just really weird. And uh, like the server that I got going right now is just Team Deathmatch, but you can switch it up between a few of them. Like if you wanted to do some CTF and some Domination and some Team Deathmatch, you know, you could do that. We could. Uh, just like uh, do a couple of, I don't know, two team death matches and and go some domination. I like domination, so I'd put quite a bit of that. And uh, maybe just one CTF. And the rest team death match. Alright, so uh, after this we want to put another comma and commas, no spaces. And then we can just put one for the weight. And I'm not going to explain to you what the weight means. It says it in this file, and if you want to mess with the weight, you can go ahead and do that. And that's all we need for our map rotation, basically. Uh, we can go ahead and delete the rest of this stuff here. And save it. And then just exit out of this. And we want to rename this. And I'll just name it to what I want, but you can name it whatever you want.
and go to properties, make it read only, apply, and drag it right back into where you took it out from. All right, now we got our map rotation set. Now we want to go and do our server configuration. And to do that, we can go to this player 2. And I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but this is what works for me. So you can go ahead and just double click this server CFG file here. Um, yeah, there we go. And um, for these first ones here, uh, this first one you can leave, but the rest of them, there was slash marks in here, and you want to delete those. And uh, you can just leave these for now. Um, it's not going to make your server not run. But if you want to look into that later or ask me or ask someone on uh, what to do here, you can go ahead and do that. Your server is still going to run fine without these. Um, so we can go down here further. Uh, yeah. And max clients. If you don't have more than 512 kilobytes upload, uh, you're going to want it under 12, 12 and under. Anything over 12, you probably want more than 512 kilobytes upload speed. Half a megabyte. And uh, the rest of this stuff, really, the password, you, you can use a password for if you want to make your server private. And uh, voice too, you want to set that to two so people can chat on your server if you want that. And that's about all there is to this. Uh, you probably want to set your set it to LAN. And uh, even if you don't set this stuff up, your server's still gonna run. It's just this just gives you a little bit more usability. Uh, so we can go ahead and uh, just uh, save that and. Then uh, that's pretty much, uh, we've got our server ready to be uh, started. And uh, <clears throat> all we have to do now is uh, tell the server to start. And to do that, you need to type in a command into the council. And I've got one already written out here. And I'll put this in the description for everyone to look at. And you just want to go to your start dedicated server and it'll bring up your council. Also, you should remember it's supposed to be 1.4.382. If it's something else than that, uh, you probably don't have your files right. So what we got here is SV map rotation space. And this is where you type in <coughs> your map rotation file name that you used and mine was excel.dspl so you just type in excel or whatever you used and then there's a colon and then start map rotation and then there's another colon sv host name and this is what it's going to show up in the server browser so after we got all that we go ahead and just hit enter and there's a couple things you want to look for here It says succeeded reading from excel.dspl. This is what we just made. And we had 12 map entries. Not quite sure why there was errors here, but. Yeah, whatever that is. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. It loaded a domination map and it spawned. And this is what our settings were in our server CFG. We just left them. And server will land visible only. Steam game server connected. Low quality, yada, yada, yada. And this is what we're looking for. Spawn map MP domination complete. And since we're connected to Tungle, you got to be connected to Tungle right here. 
and you got to be in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 network. And once we we uh, did our council thing here and it, it completed, everyone that's on Tungo can play on your server. And our server is live now for any of these people here that you see in this network to play in. There's a few other things I want to show you before I go into the game and and uh, go over that stuff. One is I've noticed after a few days of uh, playing on my own server that after you start your server you want to make sure that you go into into the game by going to start land game and then connecting to your own server because I've noticed sometimes if you do that and you go in your um, to check your server it won't connect and no one else can connect for some reason and that's happened quite a bit to me and it's really frustrating what you can do is what all I've done is I restart my computer and I wait like 20 or 30 minutes and then the server will come back up and you'll be able to connect and everyone can connect and why that is I have no clue but if someone figures that out they can uh, go ahead and uh, let everyone know that as well um, the name of my server is Horror Park and you can see that right here and that's what will show up in the server browser when we go check it which we can go ahead and go do now alright here's our Modern Warfare 3 menu and as you can see you want to go into that dedicated server part there and you want to make sure that enable server browser is clicked to yes so then we can go into servers here and you can see my server up that we just created, Horror Park. And these are the parameters that we set in our server.cfg. And you can change those whenever you want, of course, and it'll uh, it'll reflect on how the server is being run. Anyway, you can see there that there's a person on my server, so we'll go ahead and connect. And this is the part that you got to make sure. Uh, that your server is up and running and available for other people to use because if you try to connect and it says unable to connect then if you can't connect no one else can connect so you want to make sure whenever you start a server up that you're able to get on your server and play with other people and we set uh, all the maps to domination and I recommend using domination it's easier for people to just jump in on the server and be able to uh, play against other people. They don't have to wait for others, and it's not unbalanced or anything. I mean, you can just play this with two people if you want. You don't have to wait for more people to come in and play. And for Domination, uh, there's a, a file that uh, you use that we looked at earlier. It's a DSR file, I think. And you can go ahead and edit that, and if you hit time in there, you can change the time limit, because it's only uh, set for two minutes and 50 seconds. I'll go check and see what um, file that was. In your player 2 folder, it's called dom slash default.dsr. And if you edit that and you hit time, find, um, you'll be able to change that parameter and it'll just switch the time limit to something higher. And you can do that for any of the parameters you want in your DSR files. That's pretty much from start to finish how to create your own LAN server on Tungle for other people to connect to. I hope it's been helpful to you and I hope uh, that you'll be able to get your server up and running the way you want it to. I know it hasn't been exactly straightforward and uh, I don't think right now there is really any way to to uh, do it just straightforward without having 
to go through hoops or whatever, but uh, enjoy. Locked down. Hold your positions. We lost Bravo. 